Yeah, just get a few things set up here and then we'll get started. Coming online. Okay, I got that set up. Just like to get some things set up so I can watch the channels, make sure I don't miss any prayer requests. That, that, that. And as soon as that deal finishes running that scan, it'll be ready. So I think we're getting pretty close. Getting pretty close to being ready. So. Well, so yeah, I just, I want to give as many people as possible a chance to be able to get their prayer request answered just so they can get healed. And so I'm streaming to five platforms. Okay, so I'm... I am streaming to five different platforms at once to try to reach as many people as possible. Yeah, that camera thing. I don't know why it did that, but looks like it's back on. But yeah, that's what it is. I'm trying to reach as many people as possible so they can get healed. So they can get their healing. Jesus already paid for the healing when he shed his blood on the cross. So. This is my third year doing this. And been so many people healed, I've lost track. I've lost count of how many people have been healed. It's been such a big number. So it's because of Jesus. It's because of what Jesus accomplished on the cross on our behalf. Hey, blessings, Magatech. Good to see you. So, yeah. Anyway. I just like to reach as many people as possible, give everybody the opportunity to receive prayer and be healed. And so I'm multi-stream. We're running to five different platforms tonight. Could add a sixth. But I just didn't want to take the extra time and set up. So. Because it's a. It's, it's a platform that's fairly new. There's, it's still under construction and they don't. It's having trouble with it. So I thought, well, I'll just skip it tonight. Because I'm kind of. want to get on here and. Have a chance to pray for as many as possible. So if anybody does have a prayer request, feel free to type it in the chat. Be more than happy to pray for you. Uh, going live to Rumble tonight for the first time that I've done the regular broadcast. I tested it out earlier today. It looks like it's working. So I 
checking but i'll be checking on that here pretty quick make sure that that's up and running for sure Hmm. Yeah, the antivirus on my other laptop, it gave me an alert, said it stopped some kind of a malicious attack or something, and recommended that I do a full scan on the computer, and that's just about done. So when it gets done scanning, I'll kick over there on Rumble and make sure that it is actually running over there. I tell you, tell you what, I, Saturday afternoon, I tuned into this one person's broadcast, first time I've ever watched it, and to my amazement, he was claiming that the New King James Version was a satanic translation. I was like, what in the world are you talking about? I'd never heard that before. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if any, of you, if any of you have ever heard of this anything about the new King James being a satanic translation, let me know about it in the comments. Cause I'd never heard that before. You know, I, I do the scripture reading from new Kings James because it's easier for everybody to understand it. Cause it's not, you know, nobody, nobody ever really talks in these and thou's and doth and hath and all that. We don't talk that way nowadays. So new King James is a modern style of English and it's easier to understand. So I, for the benefit of the audience, be able to understand it. I just, I like to read from the New King James. Hey, blessing Sloan, welcome. Hey, maybe you can tell me, Sloan, have you ever heard anybody say before that the New King James is a, is a satanic translation of the Bible? Because I heard a guy on a bro on his broadcast a Saturday afternoon say that, and I'd never heard anybody call the New King James a satanic translation before I, <laughs> that was a new one to me uh, all right let's see make sure i'm running on rumble But yeah, if anybody's ever heard that before, let me know. <laughs> I had never heard anybody ever refer to the New King James as a satanic translation before. That was just... Well, they claim to be an authority on the Bible, and they claim the new, the old King James is the only trustworthy inter version. But they're also someone that's not worried about taking the gospel and saving the lost. They want, they want the world to end right now so they can go ahead and get to heaven and be done with it. And they don't care about anybody else. And I'd never heard anybody like that before. <laughs> Claim to be an authority on the Bible. and It's like, what kind of mess is that? <laughs> So how did I do that earlier today? I'm trying to see if I can watch myself over here on Rumble. I can't remember 
earlier today how I was watching on a second device. Hmm. I don't know. Well, somebody can check on Rumble and make sure I'm running live over there, please. <laughs> I can't find myself over there. I know it's probably working. Not having much luck so far finding it, but oh my gosh, I gotta go through all the live videos to find it. Well, I know it's got to be on there somewhere. I don't know. Anybody? Anybody see me over on Rumble? <laughs> I'm going to take a guess it is working. I don't know. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start down through the prayer list. And by all means, if anybody has a prayer request, type it in the chat. So, Father God, we give you thanks for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And, Father, we thank you for sending Jesus, who laid down his life on the cross and shed his blood and paid the penalty for our sin, as well as purchasing all the healing we will ever need. And, Jesus, we thank you that you delegated your authority to every believer to do the Great Commission, that is, to preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority, I come to you on behalf of Nikisha. Command her kidneys be made whole now in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, get out of her now. And we come to you on behalf of KCJ and command all the crystals in her kidneys. And we come to you on behalf of Pistol Packing Patriot. Father, we just ask that you grant her favor in finding the right vehicle that would be at the right price and it would be dependable and suit her needs. And we come to you on behalf of Regina's mom and sister. Command their hearts be healed now in the name of Jesus. Command normal sinus rhythm, normal blood pressure, and normal blood flow now in the name of Jesus. Huh, should be live over there. Unless you got to go set up every time before you go live. Kind of like I do on Foxhole. I got to go over here on the and log in and set up, and then I go through my third party streaming software and it hooks up and does the new one. 
Maybe that's what I should have done. Well, thanks for the subscription, Magatik. I appreciate that. And Father, we come to you on behalf of Vicki, and I command that spirit of cancer, get out of her now in the name of Jesus. Come to you on behalf of Gloria, command all pain in her legs, back, and neck, get out now. We come to you on behalf of Landon, I command his mind to be healed, his brain chemistry to be normal. Father, we ask that you order his thoughts and give him peace. And we come to you on behalf of Yvette Donahue. Command head cold and chest cold. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to give her strength. Command her circulation be restored now in the name of Jesus. Come to you on behalf of Ames and command that liver be made whole and of perfect function now in the name of Jesus. And we come to you on behalf of Let's Go Brandon's family. And Father, we just ask that you guide them in their medical decisions, that any harmful substance in their bodies, whether put there on purpose or by accident, would be rendered inert and of no effect. In Jesus' name. Come to you on behalf of Sonia's mom. Command all the aches and pains. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Father, we command her strength be returned and restored. Her energy be normal. And we come to you on behalf of Carol. We command her circulatory system be healed now in the name of Jesus. That all internal bleeding caused by the stents would stop now in Jesus' name. And we come to you on behalf of Dennis and command the cancer get out now in the name of Jesus. Come to you on behalf of Grace the dog, command all allergic reactions stop now. And by the way, I just ask that you grant James the financial provision to get the surgery. Come to you on behalf of Leah's mom, command her body be healed, especially her cardiovascular system be healed and restored to perfect function and health now in the name of Jesus. And we come to you on behalf of Leadfoot, command his brain be healed now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. There's got to be a way. I know there is a way because I did it there. Unless. Yeah, unless you got to go through and set everything up ahead of time. Oh, well, maybe next time live and learn, I guess. Yeah, I bet I would have had to go in there. And set that up ahead of time.
Oh, well, that's the way it goes. So, anyway. Well, I'll wait for prayer requests to come in. I'm going to go ahead and jump over here on the scripture reading. Third John chapter 1. Okay, a little bit bigger anyway. It says, The elder, to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, pray I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. For I rejoice greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, just as you walk in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for strangers who have borne witness of your love before the church. <laughs> before the church. Uh, if, you, if you send them forward on their journey in a manner worthy of God, you, do, you will do well. Because they went forth for his name's sake, taking nothing from the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we may become fellow workers for the truth. I wrote to the church, but Diotrephes, who loves to have the preeminence among them, does not receive us. Therefore, if I come, I will call to mind his deeds which he does, prating against us with malicious words. And not content with that, he himself does not receive the brethren, and forbids those who wish to, putting them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. Demetrius has a good testimony from all and from the truth itself, and we also bear witness. And you know that our testimony is true. I had many things to write, but I do not wish to write to you with pen and ink. But I hope to see you shortly, and we shall speak face to face. Peace to you. Our friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. Oh, that's pretty short. Anybody want to hear that in a different translation? Let's see, we got the Brian Study Bible, Old King James, Amplified. Some of these abbreviations I'm not really familiar with. There's the Dewey Reigns. Uh, Yeah, they got so many different translations. Uh, you can see them there on the screen. Yeah, we got all these translations across here. King James Purple Letter. I've never heard of that one before. Uh, Oh, there's the NIV. Oh, just for fun, let's take a look at this in the English Standard Version. My first day Bible is English Standard Version. I've still got it. No matter of fact, <laughs> got it right there. <laughs> Then I got my new King James. Got a couple more new King James up there on the and I've got the old King James too, so but anyway. Here we are in the English ten. The elder to the beloved whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good as it goes well with your soul. For I rejoice greatly when the brothers came and testified to your truth, as indeed you are walking in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my ch children are walking in the truth. Beloved, it is a faithful thing you do in all your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are, 
who testified to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on their journey in a manner worthy of God. For they have gone out for the sake of the name, accepting nothing from the Gentiles. Therefore, we ought to support people that we may be fellow workers for the truth. I have written something to the church, but Diostrophes, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. So if I come, I will bring up what he is doing, talking wicked nonsense against us. And not content with that, he refuses to welcome the brothers and also stops those who want to and puts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God, whoever does not seen God. Demetrius has received a good testimony from everyone and from the truth itself. We also add our testimony, and you know that our testimony is true. I had much to write to you, but I would rather not write with pen and ink. I hope to see you, and we will talk face to face. Peace be to you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. All right, well, that's so much fun. Why don't we... A lot of people are fond of the amplified version. I just never have really looked at the amplified. I know a lot of people really like it. Let's see what it says. The elder of the church addresses this letter to the beloved and esteemed Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that in every way you may succeed and prosper and be in good health physically, just as I know your soul prospers spiritually. For I was greatly pleased when some of the brothers came from time to time and testified to your faithfulness to the truth of the gospel message, that is, how you are walking in truth. I have no greater joy than this to hear that my spiritual children are living their lives in the truth. Beloved, you are acting faithfully in what you are providing for the brothers, and especially when they are strangers, and they have testified before the church of your love and friendship. You will do well to assist them and send them on their way in a manner worth God. For these traveling missionaries went out for the sake of the name of Christ, accepting nothing in the way of assistance from the Gentiles. So we ought to support people, welcoming them, welcoming them as guests, providing for them, so that we may be fellow workers for the truth, that is, for the gospel message of salvation. I wrote something to the church, but Diotrephes, who loves to put himself first, does not accept that we, what we say and refuses to recognize my authority. For this reason, if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing, unjustly accusing us with wicked words and unjustified charges. And not satisfied with this, he refuses to receive the missionaries himself, and also forbids those who want to welcome them, and puts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but imitate what is good. The one who practices good, exhibiting godly character, moral courage, and integrity, is of God. The one who practices or permits or creates evil has not seen God, he has no personal experience with him, and he does not know him at all. Demetrius has received a good testimony and condemnation from everyone. Commendation, not condemnation, commendation. He's commended from everyone and from the truth, the standard of God's word itself. And we add our testimony and speak well of him. And you know that our testimony is true. I had many things to say when I began to write to you, but I prefer not to put it down with pen and ink. But I hope to see you soon, and we'll speak face to face. Peace be to you. The friends here greet you. Greet the friends personally by name. <coughs> yeah, a lot of stuff in brackets. <coughs> that kind of explains things a little more. Excuse me.
Well, now here we are with the King James Version. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love, Ruth, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear my, that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou dost faithfully whatever thou dost to the brethren and, and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well. That for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we may be fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, Diostrophes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God. But he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Demetrius hath good report of all men and the truth itself. Yea, and we also bear record, and know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee. But I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee. Greet thee, friend. Greet the friends by name. <laughs> you know, since I'd never heard of the King James Purple Letter before, I think I want to take a look at that just because he never has it. Really? <laughs> Telling me my connection is not secure. Well, I better secure it. There, now they got it right. I don't know anything why they, what the deal is with a purple letter edition, but. The elder unto the well-beloved guys to whom the truth, beloved above all things, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even as thou walkest in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children in truth. Beloved, thou dost faithfully whatever thou dost to the brethren and the so to sojourn strangers, who have borne witness thy love, charity, before the church, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after godly sort, thou shalt do well, because for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, but Diostrophes, who love, loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I remember his deeds which he doeth, Prating against us with more words and not content with that, neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath God. Demetrius hath good of all men, and of the truth itself. Yea, and we also bear witness, record, and ye know that our witness record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not write with ink and pen. I will not with ink and pen write unto thee, but I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face to thee. Our friends greet, salute thee. Greet the friends by name. So it's really similar to the old King James. 
I'd never looked at the purple letter before, so that was different. Didn't even know there was one until I seen that translation sitting there on the screen. All right, well, if anybody has a prayer request, by all means, type it in the chat. We'll be more than happy to pray for you. Looks like Fox holds a little bit behind. Let's see what we got here. So any prayer requests at all, type them in the chat, and I will pray for you. request at all. Just type on in there. I don't know if you got anybody watching right now, but oh, give it a little bit of time anyway. Yeah, I imagine it looks like what I should have done with rumbles. I've should have done the same thing I have to do with Foxhole, go in there and set up the live stream ahead of time. And then, then when I go live through the streaming software, it'll kick it in and start running. Well, that's a lesson learned for next time. And maybe the replay will show up. I don't know. Let me see this here. Okay. Yeah, it shows that Rumble's not streaming right now. I wonder if they got a different stream key and URL you got to put in there ahead of time. That's something I'll have to find out. That's going to be a inconvenience if you got to do that that's one thing nice thing about foxhole i don't have to get a new stream key every time hi happy oh yeah you can always pray for me i would pray for my business pray for for god to continue to mature me in the faith and grow me for the ministry that he has for me you know that kind of thing Pray for my finances so I have plenty of money to pay the bills. And enough left over to help others. Family will always be in health, good health. And All right, but if you have any prayer needs, please type them in the chat. I, I would really appreciate you allowing me the honor of praying for you.
That's good. It's always good to have Bible study. Definitely good news. Absolutely, we can pray for Skyler. Father God, we come to you on behalf of Skylar, and Father, we just ask that you give her guidance and understanding. Father, as she studies the scriptures, that you would open the scriptures to her through your Holy Spirit. And that she would be, come to a knowledge of who you are and how much you love her. And Father, that she would discover her identity in Christ and the authority that she has because of that identity. And Father, even in even in life in general, Father, we ask that you guide her. And you guide her in her employment and her studies. And especially in relationships, Father. She would give her wisdom and discernment in relationships. We request this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Yeah, I got a little bit of extra added in there. Well, it's not really extra. I mean, it wouldn't have been given to me to pray if it wasn't something that needed to be prayed for. And so we give thanks to God for that. Any more prayer requests, go ahead and type them in. And there's no limit to how many prayer requests one person can have. So keep typing them in until you get them all answered. Oh, you're welcome, Happy. I'm honored to be able to do that for you. Hey, EGA, welcome. You're in time. If you got a prayer request, type it in. Oh, excuse me. It's been a long day. Amen, happy. That's where it came from. Oh, that's awesome, EGA. I trust it went well.
<laughs> yeah, the cleanup. That's never the fun part, but it's always good to get it cleaned up. Well, if you got any prayer requests, go ahead and feel free to type them in. Ooh. Sorry about that. Well, shoot, you missed the scripture reading. Read the, let's see, it was 3 John chapter 1. Read it from like four different translations. And you know, maybe EJ, maybe you could tell me, have you ever heard anyone say that the New King James translation is satanic? Because I actually heard somebody say that Saturday. Make the claim that the new King James translation was satanic. And I'd never heard that before. It just, it shocked me. Oh, it was a broadcaster on a platform that I just stumbled on Saturday afternoon. And I had never heard anybody claim that the New King James was satanic. <laughs> that was a new one for me, and I just wondered if anybody else had ever heard that. Never gave any justification for calling it satanic. He just said it was satanic. I'm like, what? You know, you make a claim like that, you ought to have some reasons, give some reasons to back it up, I would think, but that person didn't, so. A YouTube shirt. Huh. Yeah, but why, why are they saying that? What do they think is wrong with it? That's what I want to know. What are they claiming the problem is? Yeah, it seemed insane to me because I, I thought the New King James was a good translation. A lot of the scholars claim it's more accurate than the Old King James because they went back to the original manuscripts and translated it from the original language. Because the Old Testament was in Hebrew and Aramaic, and then the New Testament was Greek. Yeah. Oh, YouTube short. <laughs> Your autocorrect turned it short into shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's, 
before I can give any credence to that, I need some explanation. I need some reasoning behind it. I need some evidence to show me that it that they're talking know what they're talking about. Well, the person was like an old King James only. They didn't think anything else was valid but the old King James. And they didn't want to deal with the fact that the old King James is a translation also. Because like I said, it was translated from the Old Testament from Hebrew and Aramaic, and then the New Testament was translated from Greek. So... Uh, it would have been interesting to hear an answer or a reason behind why they said that. But Oh, thank you, happy lady, for the shades. I sure appreciate that. Oh, the same person also said you shouldn't be looking in the strongest concordance. <laughs> I was like, what? I'd never heard anybody speak out against the strongest concordance before. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if they read it or not. I didn't hang around for much of the broadcast after hearing them say stuff like that. Like, nope. And looked angry. Just an angry, bitter-looking person. Uh, oh, thank you, happy lady. I appreciate that compliment. Yeah, I don't know. I've even I've heard people say that they wish that the world would end right now and they didn't care about the, the lost that hadn't accepted Jesus yet. They're like, how can you say that? To, to think that all those people out there that haven't accepted Jesus, that there's a good number of those people could actually be saved if somebody would go and give the, and share the gospel with them, spend some time with them. But you don't even care? Don't, don't even care about people going to hell? I mean, wh what kind of a Christian is that? That's terrible. It breaks my heart to think people are going to hell. For anybody to go to hell. Then you hear somebody claim to be a Christian say they don't care. They want the world to end right now. And they don't care about the people that are going to go to hell. That's messed up. Doesn't sound like loving thy neighbor to me. Besides that, Jesus commanded every believer to do the Great Commission. That starts with preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. That's the great commission that every believer is supposed to be doing. And it never ended. That assignment never ended. So, and it won't end until Jesus comes back. You know, that is a good prayer. So Father God, we come to you on behalf of those who think they're doing your will and teaching your word, but are in error. Father, that we would just ask that you would show them the error of their ways, that they would repent and preach the gospel the way you intended it to be preached, to teach it the way you intended it to be taught. And Father, that they would realize it's not the letter only, but also the Spirit. And Father, we just ask that you would 
continue to instruct and guide everyone on this broadcast, everyone in the, me and everybody in the audience, that you continue to teach us, to instruct us and guide us into rightly dividing your word. That you help us to get understanding of it, revelation of it, and that it would become a part of us deep down in our spirit. That we could then go out and share it with the world. As we do the Great Commission, in Jesus' name, amen. We're supposed to be preaching the truth in love. All those people out there, the ones that other people think, oh, they're just wretched sinners. They're no good. Jesus loves them too. Jesus wants them to be saved too. Jesus paid for their salvation as well as ours. It's not God's will that any should perish. But every person has a choice to make on their own whether to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior or reject Him. Jesus won't force Himself on anybody. He's not going to force anybody to accept Him as Lord and Savior. That's right. Jesus loves unconditionally. He's no respecter of persons. So when you say that rotten person over there is just a filthy sinner and don't care, that goes against what Jesus thinks. Jesus loves that person, no matter who they are or what they've done. He doesn't love the sin, but he loves the sinner. He loves the person. And he's already died on the cross to pay for their salvation. So... We need to go and share the gospel. And Jesus never said, be perfect and then come to me. Jesus wants us to come as we are and he'll get us perfect. If we'll let him. And, we'll, and as long as we're in these bodies of flesh, I don't think we'll ever be perfect. But we need to try to get as close as we can with, the guide, with God's guidance. Oh, yeah, I never did watch that video. <sighs> yeah, I saw that. I think it was on YouTube. I think it's where I saw it. Yeah, some lady comedian was mocking Jesus, and then seconds later, she collapsed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's not promised. Anybody could go at any time. So it pays to be ready. It pays to be in the right relationship with God. Because any second we could go. It's not guaranteed for any of us to be here 
a minute from now. Oh, there's any prayer requests at all, type them in the chat. Oh. Anybody, anybody have a prayer request? Both a family member or a friend? Absolutely, we can do that. Father God, we come to you and we give you thanks for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And Father, we thank you that you sent Jesus who laid down his life on that cross and shed his blood to pay the penalty for our sin and purchase all the healing we will ever need. And Jesus, we thank you for delegating your authority to do the Great Commission. That is, preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority... I command that tumor in EGA sister's brain to wither to nothing now in the name of Jesus. Can you speak healing over her brain? Is it Maria or Maria? Well, God knows who he is. He knows exactly who we're talking about. And that brain be fully and completely healed. No blood clots, no damage. No excess fluids. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, any more prayer requests, type them in. Any prayer requests at all? All right. Well, thanks for stopping in and allowing me to pray for your sister. Congratulations on the new house. Oh, you're welcome. And happy cleaning and get a good night's sleep. Hope to see you on the next broadcast. Anybody have a prayer request? Any prayer requests at all? Because if there's not any more prayer requests, I'm going to call it a night because I've been on here a little over an hour. 
Got a couple things to do before bedtime, so. But if you do have a prayer request, by all means, type it in now. I guess that's it. Everybody got their prayer request answered tonight, and my work here is done for now. And my next planned broadcast is Tuesday night. I might come on tomorrow night. I don't know. Or sometime during the day tomorrow. Just see how it goes. But until then, Pray that everybody gets a good night's sleep, wakes up refreshed in the morning, ready to face the day. Thank you for giving me the honor of praying for you, your family members, and your friends. And I really do want to see everybody on the next broadcast, but until then, be blessed.